Hello, Nomad Sculpt Video Manual. This video is about reprojecting the textures back to vertex color. I record this video with version 177. I think it was also possible with, with version 176. But um, yeah, let's see. Here, this model is a, a 3D scan I downloaded from Sketchfab. And here, um, these, uh, when I use textures here, and there is no vertex color at the moment on the mesh. This is the wireframe. And at the moment, the object is um, always unlit. And yeah, so how to bring back the vertex color? Here, I, yes, you can clone your object or, or you can use the same um, object, but um, you have to increase your poly count and subdivide it a few times. You need um, the resolution for the vertex colors. And I think 1.4 million is okay. And here in the MISC menu of the topology, there's the option Reproject Vertex. This is in version 177. There's a submenu. Here you can choose what you want to reproject in here i want to reproject only the colors and here the sliders you can check what they do and let's test it with these settings and here is the option now here bake from itself and when you created a copy uh, then you can here bake from the other mesh or reproject from the other mesh. So let's try what happens. And now I I, sh I hide the textures at the moment. And now I press reproject. Okay, a nice result. These are the the vertex colors. And you see it here, show painting is only active. And now it's possible to paint on the mesh. Something like this. And yeah. You can sculpt now again with a mesh. You can voxel remesh and so, um, here when I press remesh. Now you get a nice remeshed object. Okay. I think this is, yeah, for the advanced users, they know what to do with it. It's very important for some things, for 3D scans or is it a real nice feature. Okay, that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.